Uh, Wilhelm doesn't seem to get as much love as he should on the forums. I picked him because I would be playing this game with this character single player, solo. And he seemed to have the best solo player traits. Honestly, it ended up being different than I thought for what skills worked, but there's some skills for him which are amazing. And the great thing about him is it's not the capstone skills which make him great, for solo anyway. It's actually some of the mid-tier ones. So let's go through some of his skills. Of course, this main one. We're going to start in Dreadnought. Five in Auxiliary Tanks. Five in Energize. Auxiliary Tanks, pretty straightforward. You want Wolf and Saint out as much as possible. Cool down as fast as possible. Energize uh, is a great skill because Saint will repair 40% of your shield on occasion, quite often, and and uh, will regenerate your health over time. Those 10 points are pretty much good for any build, no matter if you're going to go Cyber Commando, Hunter Killer, or Dreadnought. Over in Hunter Killer, though, that's where I think Wilhelm really shines. Uh, both of these first level skills are pretty good. I prefer Afterburner um, for a couple of reasons. I like the reload bonus, and the speed is actually, Wolf Air Speed is a pretty big thing. Projectile speed can matter too, depending on what you're going to use. And one of the key things about this build when I was putting it together, I didn't want to be tied to any one particular weapon type. I like to mix it up and use different things. So I didn't want to put in anything that would kind of keep you from doing that. For the next tier, um, both of these skills are excellent. I only put one in Venom because you can see I'm getting a big bonus on uh, from a class mod. But this is actually an excellent skill. I'm actually glad I only have to put one point in to get it. But um, it really is worth um, putting putting a couple points in if you didn't have that. But because of that, I'm putting five into suppression. Again, once you make a kill, the fire rate for you and Wolf goes crazy. And then we're putting one point into laser guided. Laser guided is the best skill. This is what makes this build what it does is when you paint a target by pressing your action skill it marks it up not only does it make it easier to kill when when you actually kill that target you can see wolf and sink an extra five seconds with this skill alone wolf and saint will be out for the whole fight and again the, the really the two key skills which work together are laser guided and rolling thunder with rolling thunder what happens is that the longer wolf is alive the more damage he'll do. And you can see with the class mod, I'm getting 18% per stack every 5 seconds. So what that means is that if he gets 10 stacks of this, he'll be doing 180% damage, 180% more damage. And it's quite common in a long fight between painting targets and extending duration. You'll get this up to 25, 30. At that point, quite literally, as you'll see, Wolf can kill everything. You don't even have to kill him. You don't even have to shoot anymore. You just have to paint targets. And that's really all you need in Hunter Killer. You don't really need to go down to Mega Strike. Mega Strike's kind of neat. Um, I generally do because we're here. But the, probably the neatest thing about Wilhelm is that none of, again, none of the Capstone skills, Overcharge is okay, uh, Vengeance Cannon's okay, but none of them really are going to make the difference for you. So you actually, it actually is a very viable build to go into mid tier for all of these. This is actually the only real points you need at this point you're going to be pretty near unstoppable, especially if you find this class mod. But uh, just to finish off the way I kind of like to do it, I put one point in Scramble. It's very rare they'll ever kill Wolf, but it does happen. And if it, if it does, then you'll get a new one and more time. Uh, some of the other things, these two skills, Cold War sounds like it should be good. What that one does is if you would use like a shock weapon and you shock a guy, they should freeze. But uh, I found, I don't know if it's broken, it does kick off, but it really doesn't seem to kick off at the percentage. I put five points in it to get up to 25%, and it really was very rare would kick off. Uh, so I find that one not very valuable. And Escalation, I thought this might be like Gunzerker, where you can work down. What Escalation does is, is that when you get a critical hit, you'll reduce the cooldown of Wolf and Saint by, by some time, depending on how many points you put in. I thought it might be like the Gunzerker, where you can start working off the cooldown time while it's active and it doesn't, so it only kicks in after Wolf and Saint go away. Um, so I find it not super valuable. So realistically, I just put uh, uh, three points into fire support. Just some extra damage for you and Wolf, just enough to get down to Omega Strike. But like I say, this is not Omega Strike is not what makes this work. It's actually Rolling Thunder 
and laser guided. So you don't really need to put that four points. You could put that into Cyber Commando if you like. And same thing. You don't need anything else in Dreadnought. Nothing else over here is particularly valuable. Um, termination Protocols is neat, but it doesn't really do much. Zero Hour is great if you're playing in a team, but by yourself you don't really need it because Saint will heal you anyway. But see here you got some choice to make. You can put some points into Cyber Commando and there's some neat things down here like Shock Absorbers is neat and Power Fist is kind of neat. Um, you can get Emergency Response and Divert Power which are both pretty good. You can even get down to Gun Show. But um, what I do is just because I don't like scavenging out all the time so I want to get Overcharge. And Overcharge is, I mainly use it just to regenerate some ammo uh, because this is about a pretty much a high DPS build. So from this point, I'm going to put one into Fortify, just to get down to the next tier. And then I'm going to put five into a Rapid Reinforcement. So every time you kill somebody, your reload speed goes way up, and your movement speed goes up. It's just kind of nice, like I say, when you're reloading. From here, I put one into Hazmat uh, for Elemental. Depends on what shield you're going to use and whatnot. Um, I find, again, this is a you're a little bit vulnerable, so anything you can do to help yourself out there is nice. You can put maybe two points here. It's up to you. you I, I find you want to go between Fortify or Hazmat. Again, really, we're just trying to get down to Overcharge. We'll put one in Zero Hour, just because that can be sometimes helpful. Um, so we'll put, we'll put a couple in Fortify, and then we'll get our Overcharge. And like I say, all of that was optional after you really only needed the, the five in Auxiliary and the five in Energize. And you really needed everything in Rolling Thunder and Suppression and Venom Bolts. Um, those are the ones that make all this fly. And actually, like I said, the laser guided, as you'll see, you paint the targets as you see them, kill them, get your duration for Wolf and Saint up, Rolling Thunder will increase up, and then Wolf will be an absolute monster. So now you have uh, three points left. You can put it wherever you like. Um, nothing at this point really matters, so let's just up that just to max that out, and we'll just put the last one there for a good measure. All right, so that's the basic build I'm going with a level 50. And again, just to reiterate the important part, this is not a level 50 build. You don't have to be level 50 for this to work. It'll actually start working around level 25 or level 30. Um, it's actually pretty deadly build all along. And um, for equipment, again, like I'm trying to say, I don't like to be tied to any particular gear. Um, so I'm showing this off. I'm just going to use some of the mission rewards. Some of the blue mission words. Swift ice cream from I forget which mission that's from. Freezing Phrygia. It's quite a nice weapon to use. The Boganella, which is quite fun. And E Gun, which is one of the best weapons in the game, along with uh, the Rosie. But I'm not even going to use the Rosie because it's just too overpowered. Um, I've been farming bosses for a while, so I got some purple stuff down here. But I didn't have that all along. Um, so I have an adaptive shield. This is the class mod to look for, Breaching Equalizer. Um, I found quite a quite a good one as you can see I didn't really even realize it went this high um, but that's even at the lower level ones it's always going to have venom bolt suppression and rolling thunder so if you have 322 or 433 it's uh, it's it's excellent all along your Oz kit whatever you like I personally like the ones where you don't have to be in the air for them to kick in and a lot of the time you have max O2 so I just go with anything with gun damage uh, that's the best one I've found and just mix Mossy's grenade mod I'm not a big grenade user so you can see this will work with weapons any weapons you want to use um, you can use you know like I said if you use the Rosie you're pretty much unstoppable but you can use any combination of weapons so let's go out and show this off <laughs> 